All right, guys. So, admittingly, sometimes I get very, very, very frustrated with the mainstream liberal media uh, and their obvious bias, okay? When they're not calling things straight, right? They're not calling it how it is. And it is clear that they're simply playing for a team, right? Because these are the same people who claim to be respectable journalists, right? And because they went to school and got a fancy degree from an Ivy League university, they look down on people like me, people like Joe Rogan, people in independent media, whom seem to be a lot less biased than they are, right? Who actually seem to be seeing the reality of things for what they are and aren't afraid to call out wrong when it is wrong, regardless of whether or not it benefits us politically right regardless of whether or not it might piss off some people uh in our audiences right because at the end of the day uh my job is not to say the things that you want me to say it is to say the things that need to be said right and to call it how i see it however we don't get that in the mainstream liberal media right at all okay uh it seems like things that happen on the left especially when it comes to political violence are routinely ignored but yet all we hear about is the political violence that comes from the right when it seems like <laughs> objectively speaking there is more political violence in this country coming from the left than the right and if you happen to speak up against political violence on the left um you might end up like jack del rio right whom was recently fined a hundred thousand dollars from ron rivera the head coach of the washington commanders because he simply said hey you know we're talking about january 6th but why are we talking about the BLM slash Antifa riots, right? To me, <laughs> I witnessed with my own two eyes, neighborhoods burning, businesses burning down, people losing their lives, uh, property being destroyed, vandalism, all types of crazy things happen for like four or five, six months straight. And yet we're making this big deal over this one day, January 6th, that was bad, right? I would admittedly say that was bad, but it wasn't nearly as bad as what we witnessed preceding that when it comes to political violence in this country and the mainstream liberal media turned their heads away and basically acted like it wasn't a thing okay because hey apparently this stuff is justified if you say you're doing it for social justice right if you say you're doing it in the name of racism then apparently it's justified <laughs> and is that the point now i'm like who knows maybe the january 6 uh protesters should just say hey we was doing it because america is systemically racist <laughs> right maybe they should say that right will the mainstream me liberal media give them a pass okay again it's things like that obvious bias like that that really annoys me okay because it's almost like if the mainstream media is going to be that biased to reality it's almost like things are hopeless <laughs> right because people tend to go along with what the mainstream media is saying if they're not really paying attention however the good thing is that we do have some people with integrity out there uh that are on the left right there are classical liberals like bill maher whom i don't agree with a lot of things he says but he does come out and call it straight he calls it like it is and when he does that you know i do tend to kind of agree with him when it comes to some things and he called out the obvious media bias that we saw last week when it came to the Brett Kavanaugh assassination attempt in which the mainstream liberal media uh, unsurprisingly just ignored, right? They acted like that did not happen, that somebody did not just try to take the life of a Supreme Court justice because they're upset about the alleged decision that is coming from the Supreme Court to overturn Roe v. Wade. And I want you guys to take a listen to him discuss this with Kellyanne Conway um, on his last show. Take a look. That's, I will agree with you that it's, to you me that's more, to clap for that. To me, it's, it's more of a case of media bias. Mm -hmm. Yes, if you hadn't seen the story, somebody came to assassinate Brett Kavanaugh. Yes, two days and, ago. Okay, and I'm, I'm even with you on this one. Good. <laughs> okay, and uh, they stopped him, okay, but he was, he's from California. Uh, he could have been inspired by, uh, yeah, Chuck Schumer said some very inflammatory words, the kind of thing that people on the right say, and then there's a horrible shooting and they blame it. It, it right. is rather comparable. Right. And Chuck Schumer Scary. did walk it back. Nobody on the right ever does mm. that. He did. I saw this, no, he did. He said, look, we from Brooklyn, we speak too strongly. He said something about how, Oh, you know, uh, Brett, they were talking about Brett. This guy was upset that Brett Kavanaugh is going to overturn Roe versus Wade. Okay. Yeah. 
and he, <laughs> interesting, upset about that he wasn't doing enough for gun control and then shows up with guns to kill him. Exactly. <laughs> so again, cuckoo people do cuckoo things. Okay. The point is, I think your point, and I, the point I would agree with is, the New York Times buried this. Yeah, it was like if a this tiny had been thing a, below the fold. If this had been a liberal Supreme Court justice that someone came to kill, it would, have been on the, it would have been on the front page. And that's what's so disappointing about a paper like the New York Times. Because they just wear their bias on their sleeves. And they, if it's not part of something that feeds our narrative, fuck it. And we they're bury protesting. It. Now, in that segment right there, Bill Maher was... 80, 90% right, okay? I, I don't think that him saying that, well, people on the right never walk back comments. No, that's ridiculous. <laughs> on January 6th, almost all Republican politicians were out here saying, no, 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 th this was wrong. What happened was wrong. You know, we don't support this, blah, 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 blah. Th that's what they were doing, right? And again, some of them got flamed for doing that. So don't sit here and act like Republicans don't call out the extremism on the right. They, they do, right? When it gets out of control, they do that. But when the extremism on the left gets out of control, um, Democrats just ignore it, right? What Democrat has come out here and condemned the Kavanaugh assassination attempt, right? I can't think of any major elected official that has specifically come out here and said, no, no, this is wrong. We cannot be doing this. In fact, uh, we actually need to stop doing these protests in front of these Supreme Court justice houses. Because again, the same day, the same day that news came out that this happened, Protesters showed up at Brett Kavanaugh's house to protest some more, knowing that there was an attempted assassination on this man's life. And what did Democrats say? Nothing. <laughs> what did they do? Nothing. But again, to the mainstream liberal media's credit, okay, this is small, very small credit. You know, every now and then they will run one segment on a news station like CNN in which they'll tell the truth about the Democrats and their hypocrisy on political violence in this country. We're worried about threats, and now we understand why there has been so much of a concern, David. Absolutely, and uh, this is horrifying. I mean, activism has its place, of course. Speaking out has its place, to, but to threaten a Supreme Court justice and his family outside of his home is beyond the pale, cannot be tolerated. Every politician has an obligation to stand up, condemn this, and to do something about it. And the truth is that a lot of people on the left who are in political power are being so hypocritical about this. They, they lecture us all the time about the excesses of the right, including Donald Trump on, on January 6th, fomenting mob violence. And yet they're out there countenancing, as they have with statements before, that it's okay to stand outside these people's homes. Can we listen to that sound? This is former White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki, as well as Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. I know that there's an outrage right now, I guess, about uh, protests that have been peaceful to date, and we certainly continue to encourage that outside of judges' homes, and that's the president's position. If protests are peaceful, yes. My house is, there's protests three, four times a week outside my house. That's the, uh, the American way to peacefully protest is okay. And I've been, that's my wife. Sorry. Um, maybe there's a protest outside. It's not a laughing matter as we're thinking about it now. Right. Just to be clear, those were statements made after that abortion draft was leaked weeks right. ago. Right. But, but the problem is, yes, peacefully protest. But what's happening, I mean, I go back to, you know, Bill Clinton's admonition, right, uh, about uh, right wing radio. Be careful on whose ears these messages fall. You go outside someone's house, that is menacing when there's children there who are not protected by security. The justices are, their families are not, and they're going off to school in the morning. It's intimidating. Ding, 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 ding. How hard is that, right? How hard was that? If CNN had more segments like that, right? If that is what you were saying on every show on CNN, somebody telling the truth and calling out the hypocrisy of the Democrats when it comes to political violence in this country... Uh, their ratings will be a lot better, right? Their ratings will be a whole lot better. But again, that's a rare segment because on Sunday, right? All the Sunday shows, which cover the most important topics of the week, right? The Brent Kavanaugh assassination tip was ignored, completely ignored. They didn't talk about it. Well, why is that? Again, because there is mainstream liberal bias in the media, right? And that's why we call it the mainstream liberal media because they're overwhelmingly liberal,
right? That's just not a right-wing talking point, right? That's just not a right-wing thing to say, oh, mainstream liberal media, you're just smearing the media as liberal. No, that, that actually is what it is. They are liberal. They have a strong, heavy Democrat slash liberal bias. It is what it is. And situations like this clearly demonstrate <laughs> what I'm talking about. So let's read here. The news of the assassination attempt against Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh was ignored by all the Sunday political shows on ABC, CBS, NBC, and CNN. Early Wednesday, two U.S. Marshals witnessed a suspect dressed in black clothing exit a taxi in front of Kavanaugh's Montgomery County home with a backpack and suitcase. Shortly afterwards, the suspect, identified as Nicholas John Roski, called 911 to report he was experiencing suicidal thoughts and intended to kill Kavanaugh in response to... Of the Supreme Court draft opinion leak from May. Police officers arrested Roski after the call and apprehended several items, including a black tactical chest rig and tactical knife, Glock 17 pistol, with two magazines and ammunition, pepper spray, and zip ties. Again, what was this guy planning on doing to Brett Kavanaugh? Right? I mean, this guy might have tried to torture Brett Kavanaugh. Okay. This guy was meant business. He meant business. In the following days after the assassination attempt, mainstream media largely underplayed the news, instead suggesting that, quote, both sides of the abortion debate are guilty of violent rhetoric. Again, ain't it amazing how when the left is obviously committing acts of violence, political violence, okay, when it gets out of control, the most that the mainstream liberal media can say is, well, it's on both sides. It's both sides, okay? But... When it comes to January 6th, though, they can't play both sides anymore, right? They don't want to bring up BLM. They don't want to bring up Antifa. And both sides is not relevant when it comes to January 6th. But when it comes to, again, these Roe v. Wade protesters and the fact that this is obvious left-wing woke supremacy, oh, no, 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 both sides. You got to remember, this is happening on both sides when clearly nobody on the right in this situation right here is committing any acts of violence or protesting over... Roe v. Wade being overturned because people on the right, generally speaking, not everybody, but generally they, they agree with it, right? Or it's not that important of an issue to them where they're like, oh, well, I'm going to go out here in the street and protest over it. By Sunday morning, the story was ignored by all the major Sunday shows except Fox News Sunday. Most Sunday morning attention was given to discussing Thursday's January 6th congressional hearings, which had received massive promotion by liberal hosts and Democrat politicians. The hearings aired on a rare primetime schedule with reports that a former ABC News executive was hired to produce the event. <laughs> Again, ain't it amazing how, you know, they are treating these January 6th hearings like some type of movie uh, premiere, <laughs> right? That's what they're doing. They're making it a Hollywood spectacle, okay? Something they claim was so bad. They're trying to make a Hollywood production out of it. That's what they're trying to do. Again, the liberal media is doing this. But they don't want to make a Hollywood production out of what happened with the BLM riots, right? Or Antifa riots. No Hollywood production for that. Or the uh, Brett Kavanaugh assassination attempt. Again, this is how mainstream liberal media bias works. We play up all the bad things that happens on the right. Play it up, make it a Hollywood event. But all the things on the left, eh, you know, let's just not even talk about it. Let's not discuss it. The assassination attempt against Kavanaugh followed weeks of heated rhetoric from Democrats and media pundits lambasting conservative Supreme Court justice for the potential ruling on a case that could overturn Roe v. Wade. Pro-choice protesters have also persistently protested in front of the justice's private homes, despite federal law preventing attempts to influence a court case. Kavanaugh himself has been targeted by the mainstream media since his original confirmation in 2018. On Fox News Sunday, host Brett Baer confronted Senator Chris Coons, Democrat, on whether violent rhetoric influenced the, the authority to attack. While Coons did not sing out Democrats, he called for a reduction in the, quote, levels of, of our political rhetoric. Quote, I think all of us need to reduce the level of our rhetoric and be mindful of the fact that staring up potential violence is not good or constructive thing to be doing at this moment in our country by any political leader he stated again democrats love to play both sides of them when it comes to political violence from them right when he should just be straight up saying no chuck schumer should take responsibility okay <laughs> maxine waters right she should take responsibility all the democrats that routinely come out here and uh use extreme political rhetoric okay the same thing they condemn trump for the same thing they try to impeach trump over um, those people should be explicitly called out by the Democrats because they call out Republicans who won't call out Trump right, for his alleged extreme political rhetoric, right? So Republicans need to be held responsible for not calling out their leader, but Democrats 
shouldn't be held responsible for not calling out their leaders, right, on their Reddit. Again, it's amazing how this stuff works. But I am thankful for people like Bill Maher who are willing to, to call out the woke supremacy and, and the mainstream liberal bias, you know, when he sees it. You know, I just don't understand how this guy still supports the Democrats and still come out here and uh, vote Democrat with all the things that they're pushing and they're promoting uh, in this country. But hey, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.